Okay, so in today's first job of the morning, got to change this unvented um, expansion vessel. It's in the bloody loft. It's got no drain cock on it or anything like that. Um, so what, what I was thinking is, if I kind of drop the pressure off of it, um, surely it should just hold, almost like bunging it. So I've turned off the mains, I've pulled the TPR valve, the med show it's closed, and then I reckon it should just airlock. Uh, not tried this one before, but we're gonna give it a go now and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get soaked. So I've got this one all made up, ready to go. <laughs> Here it goes. Mind you, so I want to get a bung ready as well, just in case. But there's no way I'm siphoning it all out. Not a chance. Okay, it's leaking a little bit. Okay. So that's actually good. So it's airlocked it. Bit of water. Not too bad. So that's actually quite good to know. Because obviously on this cylinder, that's the um, mains coming in there, that yellow lever valve. And as you can see, it kind of comes around here. There's no bloody drain cock on it anywhere. So if I crack this TPR valve for a second. Oh, that's it, that's enough. So it will airlock. So yeah, that's how you airlock an unvented cylinder to swap out the vessel if it's below it. Don't worry about it. Take the pressure off and then just uh, go for it. Right, I'm just gonna drill out the bracket for this one and pop this one on there and that, that'll be it done. Right, so that's it. I've just popped the uh, vessel and the bracket on. And I mean, you know, if I came straight in, literally turned off the mains and ripped that thing off. 15, 20 minute job. Right, let's turn it back on. And that's it. That's how you airlock a cylinder to replace a vessel if it's underneath it. You know, or anything underneath it, really. 